So, <laughs> in the truck tent, some will say I'm an idiot, some will be correct, but I am pretty warm. Um, so I got an electric blanket down here. I was, I'm an idiot because I was going to put the quilt on top of it. You don't want to lay directly on an electric blanket. So I'll probably switch those out, put the quilt on top of it. I'm on five inches of memory foam. It's extremely comfortable. I've got the Honda generator going. So two cords, it's on eco drive, I believe. I gotta go make sure it's on eco drive. Um, this is gonna be turned off. I'll only need to use it once in a while because the electric blanket with the down comforter is fine. Of course, I forgot the insulation tent, but I'm just trying this out, camping in Alaska. So pretty fun. It is full on winter right now, so. Um, I wanted to try this out and so far I'm toasty warm and I just fired it up so but this will suck up all my gas all night so that's not staying on too long just once in a while but I think the electric blanket can run all night on eight hours on one gallon so we'll see I'm gonna test it out go fly fishing for steelhead in the morning epic Seven thirty in the morning. I didn't sleep that good because of the wind. Uh, stayed warm all night though. Um, I did not use the heater. I just turned it on this morning. Kind of interested to see uh, how long it'll run. I'm sure if I had run this all night, the generator would all ran out of gas within five hours. But the electric blanket stayed running full eight hours all night. Um, these ones are kind of annoying because you have to turn them on. They shut off after four hours, so I had to make sure I kind of turned them on and off, but stayed warm with this electric blanket. So uh, at least I know I can do it. I mean, uh, with the wind chill factor, it's probably 10 degrees out there. It was supposed to be whatever, uh, 20s, but it, it's freezing, so... Um, I'm just trying to find the motivation to crawl out of here into the cold, get ready for fishing. <laughs> we'll see if that happens. All right.
that's a wrap for this episode. It's basically just a test to see if I could get the heater to work with the electric blanket and electric heater and the generator to work. It was a success. I was able to do that. Had a lot of fun. I didn't get the fabulous chrome steel head I wanted to, but that's okay. There's always next year. And I got a dolly, so I didn't get skunked. That's all that matters to me is I had fun. The Anchor River, fly fishing that river is probably my most favorite thing to do in the world. Um, so it's really a shame that they closed it early. It used to be open through uh, December 31st, and I'd go down to Homer for Christmas and catch steelhead on the anchor. It was just insane. And sometimes late run silvers would come in. It was really weird, but, and then we'd have these warm spells where it didn't even feel like Christmas or winter. But anyways, uh, good memories from the Anchor River. That, that was a blast doing that. Um, I can now do winter camping safely. I think I can stay warm. That was a really good, experience um except for the wind kind of kept me up i'm super tired because of that but had some fat olives pizza it's really weird there's all this snow in anchor point and then you go 15 miles south to homer and all the snow is melted at least in town so i got to drive on the beach you know get some fat olives pizza just have a blast doing all my homer things so the bagel shop was closed so i was super disappointed about that but really happy for this trip had some good gear from battle box and furlough clothing so that was a blast kind of testing that out but hope to do some more winter trips so we'll see but keep on adventuring